Welcome back, friends, to Dwarf Fortress, the Steam Edition. I'm Juniver, and let's dig in and see what nonsense we can get up to today. How's our rock crafts looking? Let's let's take a look here. We've got 64 figurines. Wow. Some of these might be worth a lot, too. I think the little text symbols here on the names is their quality, so I would presume that this one up here is this is an excellent obsidian figurine of a dwarf the item is an exceptionally designed image of a dwarf in an in obsidian by Rekust ozaklilol cool its value is about 60 dwarf bucks nice we've got a whole bunch of scepters too i'm gonna go ahead and let them keep making them i'm not gonna stop them we have plenty of wood uh we have plenty of stone i'm not really worried about it so they just keep doing their thing i'll have to remember to keep mining stuff out once they finish bringing this coffer over here to the hospital, I think we might just have a fully functional hospital. Um, so let me go into this zone here, and I think, let me look at the info for it. Yeah, okay. So the Oily Houses, which is the name of our hospital, this is only open to citizens. We're not going to take care of anybody else. Um, so there's some things that it's going to keep track of in here. It's going to hold a thread. Cloth, splints, crutches. Um, we don't really need powder for casts or soap, um, but buckets we do need. Um, yeah, and so all of these things will get held in the hospital. Although we probably need to set up some work orders that we make sure we always have cloth and thread and splints and whatnot. Ooh, Unib Othlistolon has created a masterpiece muscle shell, muscle shell figurine of dwarves. Nice. We're gonna have all kinds of good stuff to sell to the traders in the fall. What else do I need to do? I need to do a military. I don't really know how to do that, so I'm gonna try to figure that out. I've done some research, and creating military is pretty complicated, and I think one of the first steps is going to be um, actually creating a barracks for the military to train in. So I think down here on the uh, administrative side of things, I'm actually gonna dig another like walkway over here. And you know, in anticipation of some more migrants, I'll go ahead and set up the uh, bedrooms also. Anyway, um, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna designate a pretty big area here for a barracks. Maybe maybe something along along these lines. Yeah, this looks good. And then a little door here, a little door there. And they'll go ahead and dig this room out. This is a I think it's a twelve by or twelve wide room. Yep. Twelve wide room, I guess. I don't know if it really matters. But this will eventually become our barracks. While they're working on all of that, I think I want the uh, jeweler's workshop that I've been talking about for a long time. I don't have a good place for it, though. Maybe I make a whole room that's just kind of for the jeweler. They can do their own jewel thing. It would have to be somewhere over by the rocks, because I presume lots of the uh, lots of the jewel stones is going to end up in that big stockpile over there, so I should put it in the same area, roughly. Ooh, look at this. Right here, rough hewn native gold wall. We found gold. We're gonna we're gonna mine that gold out. What what do you think? I think we mine that gold. I've chewed up some chewed up. <laughs> I've queued up some charcoal orders on the wood furnace over here. Maybe we'll take a look at doing some smelting a little bit later. I like this purple, the al al alunite. That's pretty. I like it a lot. I'm interested in this gold, though. We'll have to see how long it takes them to get there with their mining, though. Ooh, rough-hewn native gold wall. Look at that. Mine that out, please. Does that end up over here in the stockpile? I assume it does. I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna watch them mine this gold. Alert! Uh-oh. A human caravan has arrived. Okay, that's that's fine. A human caravan from Oman An has arrived. Okay. A stray cat has been adopted, we created a masterwork, brew drink from plant has been completed, blah 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 blah, bunch of stuff that I don't think matters. Um, we've got some older animals, okay, cool. Human caravan has arrived. So that means that 
we are going to need to move some goods up to the depot here. Um, I'm going to wait for them to actually get here uh, before I actually start dealing with that. So I'll come back up here in a minute. Meanwhile, I'm going back down here to look at my gold. That somebody should be coming to mine, I assume. Merchants have arrived and are unloading their goods. Let's take a look at these humans. We're dwarves. We're not humans. These humans here, let's see, we've got Uja Usbuggy and Ked Putishastol, a human hammer man. Let's start moving some goods to the depot. Well, we sure have a lot of mugs. So I'm going to queue up some of these mugs. We'll sell them. I don't think we need quite so many mugs. I don't really have much crafts to sell apart from the uh, stuff that we're making for the dwarves in the fall. I'm not going to sell them all that. I might sell them some of it, but I'm not going to sell them all of it. Hmm. I'm not seeing most of the stuff we want here. So I'm actually going to go down here and I'm going to assign a new task for rock crafts generally speaking and put that on uh, on repeat so I'll make some other crafts and then we'll go up and we'll trade with, trade with the humans in a few minutes did they ever mind the gold they haven't mined the gold yet do they need something special do they need like a like a I don't know a special pick to do it Okay, now seems like a good time to trade with the humans. Let's uh, let's move some more goods up here. I've selected a few of the figurines, ones that aren't worth as much. And a few of the scepters, too. Okay, there we go. Bring in some more items up here, and then we'll do some trading. We'll see what they have to offer once everything gets moved up here. Okay, now we have to request the broker to come to the depot. He should be on his way. He's, uh, this guy right here. Oops. Why can't I... can't I go to him? Is this him? This is him. Okay. There you go. He's at the bro er, at the thing now. At the trade depot, and now we can trade. So if I just mark all, then let's see what we can buy. Well, for one, to get over our weight limit, we should probably take their turkey off their hands. It doesn't cost very much, um, but it gets us um, to the point where they can actually carry what we are, what we're trying to trade them. Yeah, all kinds of stuff I've never heard of before. Uh, whip vine flower, never heard of that. Finger millet flower, interesting. Gigantic squid, oh, the it's a bag made of gigantic squid leather. That's very interesting. Yellow sand. We got some leather. You know, let's buy some leather. Let's just let's just buy this whole bin. Um, or maybe we need to buy what's in the bin. I don't really I don't really need the bin. <laughs> we'll buy some leather so that we have some. Um, and maybe we'll buy some rope reed cloth too. And you know, we'll buy some other leather here. I think that sounds fine. They've got giant sperm whale meat. Where'd you guys get that? We'll give that a try. Giant Sparrow Spleen. Oh my goodness, they got some wacky meat here. Mmm, <laughs> cheese. Cheese is expensive, though. Uh, a splint and a crutch. I think we can make those pretty easily. Oh, these are parts for instruments, I think. That's okay, we don't really need the instrument parts. What else can we buy? I don't want them to profit too much. They're humans, they're not dwarves. So we may as well take a little bit more off their off their hands. They don't appear to have any seeds, which is unfortunate. Maybe we can buy some some metal bars. Bismuth, electrum, and lead. I don't really know what this what this is good for. But we can afford some of it. Yeah, let's get the lead and the bismuth. I have no idea what we'll, what we'll do with it, but I guess could come in handy. Maybe clay? We want some clay? Yeah, let's, let's buy some clay. Maybe we need an extra rope. A rope reed rope that's worth a thousand? Holy cow. Alright, well, I don't really need a thousand dollar rope, you know, dude. Okay. 
I think this is going to be a good trade for us. So let's go ahead and make it a deal. Ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. So the humans were pretty happy with us. And we're done. We do not need the trader at the depot anymore. So you can go back to whatever you were working on, my dude. The fortress attracted no migrants again. That's kind of surprising. Well, next time we are going to knock the socks off the trader with all the stuff we have. I mean, look at all these scepters and figurines that are showing up here. It's going to be nuts, man. <laughs> oh, we have to remember to let this um, turkey hen out of the cage. So I need to go up here. I need to go to this stockpile. And I need to select the hen. And they should drag him out of the cage and put him up here in the in the in the pasture. I keep calling it a stockpile, but it's it's really a pen pasture. We still haven't mined this gold. Interesting. We have a visiting poet. This visitor has come to pray at the Shrine of Jades and to perform. He was curious about the Shrine of Jades. Okay, well, that's fine. You're not allowed in our tavern, so you can't drink our beer. Or, I guess, our ale. Our dwarven wine. Looks like most of what we have is dwarven wine. We also have quinoa beer. Huh. I wonder what quinoa beer tastes like. We're starting to run out of mining jobs. Oh, good. Somebody's coming to mine the gold. I'm very excited about this. It looks like there wasn't anything there, unless is he carrying something? Uh, I can't tell. Looks like no. I guess we didn't get anything from that, so I can see there's a little bit more gold here. So we'll go ahead and see if we can mine that. The merchants are leaving soon, that's fine. They are, they are good to go. Oh my gosh, I just watched a cat come in here and devour a hamster. The hamster was like skulking around the beer and the ale. Oh no, there he is. He's still there. Maybe... Oh, he's gone now. I think the cat is chasing the hamster. So I think it's probably a good idea to have the cats zoned to like stay in this area because this is where our food and where our ale is. It's not a bad idea. What's this? A colony of bees? I don't know what to do with the colony of bees. We've got some more interesting stuff to mine in here. What's this? Garnierite? Is this stone or is this... Uh, I think this is just a stone wall. Not that exciting. I do need to make a new wall here though. And this will eventually become our barracks, I think. So have we actually succeeded in getting any gold from that gold vein? I guess not. Because I haven't seen any pop up here in the stockpile. Oh, it looks like there's smoky quartz in the wall of this uh, this room also. Oh, there's all sorts of good stuff over here. I guess we'll mine all of this out. I've completely forgotten what this room was going to be. Oh, we were going to put the, uh, the jeweler in here. Nice jeweler. Make that out of... Let's make it out of something neat. Let's make it out of the pink stuff, the alunite. Ooh, ooh, gold nuggets, yes. This is gold nuggets. Uses, ore of gold, making furniture and building. Very cool. We've got ourselves gold nuggets. That's very exciting. I'm sure like crafts and such that's made out of gold is worth a lot more than um, like crafts made out of stone and especially crafts made out of muscle shells. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the jeweler. So what can we do? We can cut gems, we can cut raw glass into gems, and we can encrust things with gems, and we can polish stones. So if I were to do... Uh, let me pause here. If I were to do polished stones... Uh, actually, let me cancel this. Polished stones, specify. Ah. Uh, so, like, we could take... Um, any of these stones that we have, like the Galena, the Hematite, alanite the obsidian or the gold or i guess we have silver also we could take these things and we could polish them i'm not sure what the point of that is so i'm not going to do it but we could do that cut gems let's see we have a fair number of gems i guess we just go ahead and put this on repeat we'll do this forever i don't see any reason why we shouldn't just cut gems forever hmm i want to move this gem bin into the jeweler's room 
I'm not sure how to do that. And then also to kind of give this a nice like aesthetic, um, I'm just gonna make a stockpile here. Oops. Make a stockpile here. And I'm going to put gems. This is gonna be a gem stockpile. Rough gems, rough glass, cut gem, cut glass, and cut stone. All of that goes here. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm gonna remove gems from the list. If I can find it. Gems, done. Okay. Unless I'm mistaken, this gem bin should get moved over here to this stockpile. I think that's pretty cool. Oh look, they're moving everything over right now. Neat. Oh yeah, there's the bin. They've placed the bin here, and then I think they can take all of the different gems we found, we, they can put them in the bin. That's cool. I like that a lot. You know, it allows you to really put a lot of stuff in your stockpiles. If I click on this, will it show me... Yeah, so it'll show me what's inside of this, this bin. We have a lot of rough gems, and then our jeweler here who is Udib Scorchgear, creator of discourse on Udib Scorchgear. What does that mean? They're a creator? All right, let me, let me read about them. I haven't read about this person yet. Uh, overview. Udib Othlistolan, bone carver, is 56 years old, two lovers and eight children. Uh, she's healthy. She has no position, official position. She's competent with scores, with swords, good analytical ability, bad with words, slow to anger, um, unmet need, be with family. What do I, what do I do about that? How do I, how do I make her be with family? Doesn't she just have to go hang out with her family? I, I don't get it. She's a legendary bone carver. That's pretty cool. So if she's the one making our bone crafts, then our um, results will probably be much better than if just any any random dwarf is crafting bones. But we don't really have any bones. I'm not really doing a lot of hunting. I don't have a lot of corpses. I haven't had a reason to butcher any of our animals yet. So we don't have any bones. We don't have any bone, bone crafts to make. Uh, personality... She has great analytical abilities, but a large deficit of willpower. Um, needs, I'm not really gonna get into now. I wanna know why she's the creator of discourse. Well, if it's in here, I can't find it. Um, my assumption is that she wrote a book. That's, that's what I'm gonna say. She wrote a book. Seems like the jeweler is coming along nicely. I'm gonna go down here and take a look. This is where I'm gonna put our barracks. So let me smooth this whole area. And also I'm gonna go ahead and set some smoothing orders for the new bedrooms that we have coming in. And apparently we have some more gold to mine. Gonna definitely mine that. I'm gonna increase our um, work orders a little bit to be, instead of just one of each when we run out, we're gonna make five of each. So that goes for doors, tables, coffers, and beds. Every time we run out, we'll make five. I just saw this um, KV so. Yeah, they they're hungry. The KV so is hungry. Wick or weak, sickly, and starving. Maybe maybe they are supposed to be assigned to this zone up here. All right, maybe they won't die now feel bad. I don't want, I don't want whatever that is to die. Is it like a dog or is it a, uh, like a, I don't even know. Let me see if I can click on him. He's here somewhere now. Oh, he's healthy now. Okay. Uh, he's a pet of Adam Odorith. KV So. I have to look this one up. The uh, top result in Google Images when I searched this up was a link to the Dwarf Fortress wiki. So uh, you can tell how often um, people search for this particular animal that, uh, as in, nobody looks for it unless it's Dwarf Fortress, <laughs> which is quite funny for me. Um, but basically, this is like a guinea pig. It looks like a guinea pig, which 
you know, makes sense. I could have also seen small dog from the graphic, but I definitely see guinea pig now. Wow, I'm actually surprised we are running out of stone. We have lots of iron, gold, and silver ore and some clay down here that I bought. We're actually getting to the point where we're running out of stone, which is ridiculous. We are a dwarven fortress. How can we run out of stone? But clearly all that means is that I'm just not, uh, uh, not digging uh, enough territory. So we're not getting enough blocks and chunks and all that stuff. So we should probably think about expanding. Maybe, maybe we, uh, make a bigger tavern or maybe make some bigger offices you know for these guys i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna do a a bigger office here and this will be a future office also and yeah we'll go ahead and expand the tavern down there's something on this chair plump helmet spawn so there's why are there seeds on the chair in this guy's office i don't get it maybe he he left it there Looks like we're still growing plump helmets, though. Got a couple here. What about pigtails? Looks like we're not growing any pigtails. I, I guess that's okay. I mean, not quite sure what we uh, what we would do with it. Maybe make cloth. I, I assume that's what pigtails are for. But I don't see an urgent need for cloth. Aha, uh -huh, it's autumn. The uh, seasonal saving has come. I set it to autosave the game at every change of season. By default, it sets it to every other season. Um, I recommend doing it every season just just cause. So it's good to have re, uh, frequent backups. We haven't done too much on the lower levels. So basically everything we've done has been up here on level 36. Uh, if I go to 35, actually this is where we have our water from our um, our well here and this other slope that I made on accident so if I go down a little bit further you know maybe maybe now is the time to just just dig a little deeper you know see if we can find the first cavern layer or maybe that's a bad idea I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on that for the moment but down here on elevation 34 I'm just gonna I'm not sure what we're gonna do down here but I'm gonna designate a whole bunch of mining to do and we'll just see what's down here. I'm going to put this all as a 7. All this. All this is a 7. They don't need to worry too much about this, but when they run out of other mining to do, they'll have to come down here and do this mining. We're starting to run a little bit low on wood, and I'm not quite sure what we've been using it for. Probably for the bins. So if we go back up to the surface here, we can go ahead and cut down some more trees. I don't see any real reason not to. Just a couple. We don't need too much. Oh, that's mining. Can't mine a tree. You, my friend, my dwarf blacksmith necronancer, what are your unmet needs? You're ne you need to be extravagant. You need to help somebody. You need to be with family. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at all these masterwork muscle shell figurines and things. Wow. You know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this game. There's certainly a lot in it, and there's an enormous amount in it that I haven't quite uh, figured out yet or haven't been exposed to yet. I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm starting to understand um, kind of what to do and where to do it. You know, I'm sure I'm making a lot of mistakes here. I'm not really intending to be super duper efficient about anything since I'm still learning how to play the game. But overall, I'm starting to feel a lot more confident. It's really not that challenging of a game once you kind of understand how to do it. So. If anybody's not quite sure if the game is just too complicated or too hard for them, I really encourage you to give it a chance, just because it's not that hard of a game. It, uh, the traditional ASCII version uh, has a definitely a sense of um, challenge to it, which isn't necessarily accurate. So all in all, uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this, and I hope you've been having a fun time joining me so uh we found gold today that was awesome and i think next time we're gonna get the traders visiting so i'm pretty excited to offload all of our goods and see what we can what we can do with the traders this this fall all right well thanks friends for joining me today i'm juniver i hope you had a good time and i hope i see you again soon Bye bye now